everyone, it's Diane. Welcome back to my channel, Scrap Addict Creations. Today, I decided to jump into some crisp air with some fall pictures that we had taken back in 2016 when we went up to Rifle Falls. It was a beautiful area. So that's what I'm going to be sharing today. Let's get scrapping. So now I've got all the bits out. We've got the sticker sheet and it's a fresh one. Yay! I am thinking about using some of these words here. Not as much the other bits, but maybe the leaves would fit in. I've got a lot of pictures. So we are scrapbooking with, let me count them in my head real quick. Six on one page. I know, getting kind of scared, right? And then we have three, six, nine, twelve on the other page. And yes, of course, I'm going to be using, let me grab them, some flip flaps. I'm going to use three flip flaps on this layout. I decided to pull out my mix in and I grabbed the catalog and meant it's the July September mix ins. Let me go to that page real quick. I'm not sure if you can still get them. If you can, I will put a link in the description below, but this is the mix in I'm using. I almost went with this side of it and I changed it to this side. I really like that a little better. Um, great paper. It's a lot of fun. I love that paper. So I'm really glad that I'm able to incorporate it today. So we've got that. My base um, is going to be craft, of course, because it just is. I mounted all the pictures in craft. The largest picture here that I have is four and a half by, no, four and a fourth by six and a fourth. Sorry. And then I have, let's see here, this pile. <laughs> and they're kind of a little bit off of this, but they're two and three eighths by two and three eighths. And these two right here are two and a half by two and a half. That doesn't seem right. Let me look at that again. Yeah, two and a half by two and a half. So what's this one? Oh, two and five eighths by two and five eighths. Sorry. Uh, these w pictures were cut to two by three. So these are two and a fourth by three and a fourth. And then this pile over here is two and three quarters by two and three quarters or two and five eighths by two and five eighths, depending on the picture. These look like they're all about the same, same size. I did have some that I trimmed a little more over here. Then I have, oh, back it up. Sorry. This paper right here, if I moved this, is eight by ten and three quarters. And keep that over here. I have, let's see, two, four, six of these, and then they should be three by three. Yep, three by three. I have this beautiful blue leaf that I love that is three and three quarters by eight and a half. And these I think are three by three as well. Yep, three of these at three by three, and three of these at three by three. And then I have, these are those squares. Let me grab the other side of that. Okay, sorry about that. These are the squares off of here. I really like the way that these coordinate. Um, I was gonna go with a few more of the colors, but I decided to just kind of wait and see how it looks. I do have them right over here in case we wanna use them. So this is the side of the blue leaves. So I guess I could have just flipped that, but now you can see that the whole sheet is just this patchwork quilt, which is adorable. I just haven't figured out how to really incorporate that because of how busy it is. So I did take three of them and I used this little corner punch I have to make these into kind of a tag shape, but they're a tab in my, you know, I'm doing my little parentheses a tab for me today and then I have these little squares so one is whole and one of them I kind of cut in half as half could be and then this one I cut it in half at one inch and I have uh, two that are one inch by one inch and then one of them or two of them are almost two inches because they're not 
quite a two inch square, but they kind of are. But if you don't cut it right, they're not perfect. So, so like I said, they're just about two inches. So I've got that. And I think that that is all the bits. Let me set these aside. My desk is, now that I don't have my little other microphone stand, I can actually have three going down the side. I could put one over there too, but I put some papers there. Okay, so this was just going to get centered. I'm going to take these and set those stickers over off to that side. And see, these are going to be here. This is kind of my when I was playing with this, how this was going down. <laughs> Hopefully that this looks as cool to you as it did to me, because I really, really liked it. I liked the feel of it. These are just three pictures of the falls and there's a bunch of falls there. They're all kind of all over. And this, I need to, of course, work with this a little more. But once things are glued down, they always look better. So somewhere along that. And then I did pull out my nail heads, or brad heads. I've got Soft Suede, Early Espresso Sahara Sand, and Crumb Cake from my Stampin' Up! days. That I'm going to look into using some of those in between. I thought that would look kind of cool. I was pulling out brads at first and I thought I don't want a lot more weight on here and I don't want holes. So that's why I chose that route. Uh, these. Okay. So this one I wanted over here and kind of spread this out a little more. And then in the center. So I have this word that broke and it says beautiful. And I can glue it back together <laughs> over there. I have these little leaves that are from the Hope and Kindness, the die cuts. Yeah, like looking around. I've got this whole box full of all these Hope and Kindness die cuts and stuff. And these were the ones that I thought looked kind of cool. So I did pull those out. Okay, so due to some technical difficulties, I've I keep leaving the mouse little icon over the stop recording and if I bump it it stops recording so I am right now working on I've, I've put the paper down and I'm working on the pieces that are going to go inside the flip flaps and I'm putting a little magnet in here and I'm doing three of them And because the magnet kind of um, makes the, the paper not as, um, as large as when you cut it, I am trimming off any of the little bit of orangey nectarine paper. Uh, no, it's paprika, I think, that sticks over the side because I just want this little magnet here. I've got one in this one, and I just have to do this one now too. So I'm taking the adhesive off. I'll show you the full process, taking the adhesive off and then flipping this. So we'll have adhesive here, 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 and here. Okay. And then I just add a little bit of glue to put the magnet in. And these are, I think these are two millimeter magnets. I have some one millimeter, but they're like one millimeter by one millimeter. And so they don't work as well. These two millimeter by one millimeter work perfectly. Okay, so I'm gonna just trim that. Okay, now I have three of those done and I'm gonna put the pin back in my adhesive. Okay. We'll use those magnets here in a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna design these three really quick here. And, oh, this one looks like it needs a little more trimming. Okay. So I'm just going to put these pictures down on here. 
and then we will figure out the placement. I'm not having any other things on the paper with the picture. I am planning on putting some words on these. Again, there's a lot of pieces to this layout, so sorry I haven't gotten adhesive on everything. I don't know how much of the not having adhesives we've caught because again, I pushed the button on accident. Okay, so now I've got those done and I'm going to move this mat back into, into play, I guess I should say. We're gonna play with this one. Okay, so this top one, and I'm not sure how far we got on that, but I took the adhesive off of here and left it here. I took the adhesive off of the backing off of here, left it here, and the same over here. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to put the flip flap this way. Let me see this one this way. This way. And this way. Okay, so that's how those flip flaps are going to go. They're going to kind of open up all over, which is really cool and a lot of fun. So now let's take, we've got this one. So I want, actually, you know what? I should have planned that out a smidge better. Let me add another piece of adhesive on this. Okay, let me find that magnet again. I should have found the magnet before I did this. Okay, so for this one, we will put this picture here. So it's going to go like this and like that. And then this one, yeah, I did not do that right. Sorry. And a little piece of the adhesive is sticking behind. So, of course, oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so that magnet is right here. I wanna flip it this way. And then that one will go here. Okay, and then this one. Yeah, that and zero. Okay, for here. Okay, got that one in there. So this is how those are gonna go. So I have a magnet here, a here, and here to hold it down. Move these little bits. So we're still not ready for those. Okay, so with that, now I'm going to, I'm gonna put the magnets in So I'm going to cover that like that, and I'm going to put the magnet in. Oops, did I move it? Did it stay? Nope, it moved with me. <laughs> I think I might actually put the magnets on the back of the, the layout. That might be easier for me. Because normally I would build this like this and then put the whole thing down, but I was trying to be sneaky with it, and it's not working as well as I would like. So we'll just take this backing off, not worry about the magnet. On the other side, we'll put it. And those little bits for these are so sticky. <laughs> and um, they've got a lot of static. Okay. So we'll line that up with that paper and put that down. And then pop that up and put this down. And we've got our first flip flap. Okay, and we'll repeat that with this one. And once we've planned this out completely, utterly and completely, we will then add the next picture in. Take this out and put that down. There we go. And then our last one. I 
very sticky. And there we have our flip-flops on our page. So fun and so not easy. No, it's actually pretty easy to get that part done. Uh, it just sometimes is a little confusing. So I'm gonna actually lay this photo down so I don't have extra photos flopping around. I know, another one that does not have adhesive on it. Ah, adhesive on that one. Yay. Okay, put this here. That was the only one I really thought, oh, I want it there. And this one here. That was, those were kind of the, the big ones that I wanted in a certain spot. Okay, so now we have all of these waterfall pictures and I need to make sure, see that they're going the right way because that would look silly if they weren't. Um, that way. <laughs> um, I think it's that way. Okay, and this one's, this one is so pretty. That's the lower area, it's just so pretty. Okay. So let's move up to here and we're going to remove this. And we want a picture here, no adhesive, classic. If I hadn't accidentally pushed the stop recording button, I'd be able to count how many times I didn't have adhesive on something today. Let's see, wait a minute here, make sure. So that's gonna go that way, this is gonna go this way, yep. I'm just centering it. And then I'm gonna put that puppy back in there. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, here's one more This doesn't have, I wonder if all of these little ones don't have adhesive on the back. And then we're just gonna center that one. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pictures we're gonna put on this page. Okay. Let's grab this one. Oh, we had adhesive on it. That one's a really pretty one. Those falls are beautiful. If you ever go up into like Glenwood Springs, Colorado, and you just keep going into rifle, this one is one of my favorites too, um, the rifle falls, and there's a fish hatchery, if I remember correctly. We went to a fish hatchery at the same time, right? Was it Springs? Yeah, it was. It was in Glenwood Springs. It was in Glenwood Springs? Oh, apparently the fish hatchery was in Glenwood Springs. Maybe it was on our way back, because I remember kind of doing this all at the same time but it's the beautiful area up there Glenwood Springs is just gorgeous and you got to stop by Iron Mountain for the hot tubs too because oh it's nice especially in the fall when it's a little cooler and you go into the hot tubs well I guess the hot springs okay and adhesive on this one. Okay. Whew, a lot of pictures. But they're all amazing pictures, so I'm really happy with it. Let's see here. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put these little bits right over here, and I'm gonna put this mat away. And let's put the pictures on this one. Let's put this one down first. And then we'll start embellishing. I think that I'm not gonna push down too much on that one until I know more. <laughs> okay, let's use this T ruler for these. Let's see here. They're walking, so maybe this one up here. Get 
get that more centered. There we go. And then up here, let's go this way. And let's look at these falls. So this is kind of a centery picture. This picture is kind of overlooking at that side. Oh, but so is this one. Hmm. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. I like that. And I'm probably gonna have to move these like four or five times. I will be very surprised if I get this right on the first try. First try would be wonderful. Let's see. It's actually not too bad. I think this one is crooked right here. It just feels crooked. Let's see if that, oh, that looks even worse. Let me look at that. That looks straighter. Okay. I can live with this. Let me look at that now. I like it. Okay. Well, that turned out well. Okay. So we've got all the pictures down now. Whew. A lot of pictures. A lot of pictures. Let's grab out this adhesive. I'm going to put this beautiful down. And then we'll grab the sticker sheet as well as some of these leaves and see what we want to do. Uh, I might not be centering this right. Well, let's just move it over a little bit. At least the glue dries clear and it'll stay. And it's not broken as much anymore. That's our secret. I'm just going to put this up here because I think that that looks so cute. I'm not going to put those down quite yet. Put that back in there. I was kind of thinking of putting these little leaves on these little tabs here. And then we have, you know, a couple more. We could stick them wherever, but I'm not dead set on it yet. Okay. The soft suede little gems or brad things I really do want to put here. So I think that will look pretty cool. And I think I need to grab the T-square for these. I've got one on my finger. Okay, I put them down, but I don't think they're gonna be even without me taking the time to do this. So they look pretty even. Actually, it looks pretty good. The mat could be crooked, but we're just gonna run with that for right now. I'll double check it later. Okay, I really like that. That was one thing I thought, oh, that'll look cool. Okay, so I like that. Let's grab this. And I'm going to alter these. Because there's leaves and there's falls and such but the leaves were not dancing. I'm gonna put the leaves up there. Let's see here. I'll put change there. Um, I've used the memories before like this, and I just like it. I 
That's one of my favorites. Okay, so we've got those on the inside. Now let's see what we want to do on the outside. We already have the word beautiful. We already used the word change. Mm, loving this, but this is pink, and I don't love that. So let's see here. Oh, we've got fall over here. That could be really cute. We could do all of these little itty bitties. These are little tiny hearts. Mm, I don't want to do them in the same corner. Let's put that there. And there. And what else do we got? Oh, we've got these little guys. This could be fun. Actually, I think I want to put one over here, too. But which one? What if I was to take these little hearts and put them on these little guys? Oh, goodness, I love that. I love how that looks. That's fun. Okay, what else do we got here? I kind of feel like we should put one of those up here as well. Maybe this one with the splatter on it and we can put the fall. Then they look consistent. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and we've got these little tabs here. But I ended up not liking these little leaves as much. Yeah, I'm not going to use those. Don't get me wrong, they're adorable, but they are not fitting in with this. Do I have anything I feel like will fit in with this? I don't really have this green color anywhere, so probably not. There's so many stickers in so little time. Get to this little leaf, except that's not going to stand out. No. Let's try some of these little guys here and see if we like it. Ooh, I like that. Left behind the adhesive. There we go. I like that. I like how that goes around. Do we want to put any on here? I don't think so. I think that that would be better without those. Put that into my little container. I love this container. So nice. Okay, let me take a look. There's absolutely no room for journaling, so that'll have to go on the very back of this layout. I'm really happy with it. A lot of pictures. So off camera, I'm going to pull this off camera. I'm going to put this into the photo page and then I will show you it in the photo page. Okay, I am back. I took the time to cut my um, page protector and I have fit it through. And how you do that basically is just kind of stick your hand in there and you just kind of fold it and put it through. So I've just taken the time to do that off camera because I've done it before on camera and it takes quite a bit of time. Um, and usually you have at least one mess up. 
So now I'm going to put the pictures back in. You want to take the pictures out when you're putting it into here. I did not put the magnets on the back yet. I will do that at a later time um, just because of, you know, I don't want to keep you guys all day. So, but I do have the original magnets in so that when I'm doing this, I can um, have that for that closure. So we have all these little pictures, really tidy. And they will stay closed because, again, of the magnets. So that's that page. And then let's show off this last page, or the front page. I'm glad I didn't put these little guys in here, too. But I think this turned out absolutely adorable. I'm so happy with this. Show this one more time. Again, we have a lot of pictures. This one is very picture focused and a lot less embellishment focused. And I'm really happy with it. I really like it. I didn't want like five or six pages of this. So having this one huge layout in the middle of this book that I'm doing will be perfect. Thank you so much for coming to play today. Have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and play today. Please like, and subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. Leave a comment and have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.